Wednesday and we always you know on a Wednesday we like to try and find something a little bit special just to get you over that midweek slump um, at, at the moment we're all homeschooling and um, it's not the easiest is it we're right at the end now but we've got um, we've got a Wednesday treat for you so we've got Lady and the Tramp two very very different doggies to have a go at here so we really hope you have a go at both let's get drawing <music> my um, sketchbook here for my lady and the tramp and you can see if I was it down I wanted them to be opposite each other so there's my tramp up at the top that we've already done and this is lady that we're going to do here and when I looked at it to me it really broke down into a series of very clear shapes so this is what we're going to start with and we're going to build and develop it so stick with me and I will take you through it step by step and we're going to start just coming up from the bottom and we're going to just start with a straight line. I'm holding my pencil very loosely, very lightly. Pretty much all these lines are going to be rubbed out, so make sure you keep them light. Now, coming in from the end there, because that's going to be the end of the tail, to about there, I'm going to take this up in a straight line. So I've got a straight line, one straight line there. And I've got, coming into there, I've got a triangle. I'm going to take that out there. So you can see I'm keeping my lines really sketchy. I'm not doing it perfectly first time. I'm just trying to get these basic shapes in. So I've got that triangle coming in there. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this line up. So it's probably about three quarters of the way to there. And then I'm coming out slightly. Not much, but it's not a straight line up. It is an angle. There's my angled line out. And then I'm going to take that up to there. So one of the things when you're drawing anything is instead of just trying to think it's an ear, it's a nose, it's a foot, think about what is the shape. And that's what I'm trying to do here, really thinking about what the basic shapes are. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go take that slightly in to there and I'm going to go across into another triangle there. And we've got one shape left here coming up just a little bit higher to there. And I'm going to take that there. So they are all our basic shapes, starting with that basic line at the, at the bottom and just take it up one by one. So if you pause there, get those shapes in and then we'll move on to the next bit. Right, this is us now developing this. We've got these basic shapes and we're going to build on the shapes. So here, if I show you this, this is what you're going to get when you get to the pause bit. All, everything in red is the shapes you've put in. And what we're going to do now is we're going to come into that triangle and we're just going to put a line. We're going to come here and we're going to put a line. So let's just do it. I'm going to leave that there so you can really see what I'm do doing here. I'm going to start here with that shape. I'm going to go up, round, almost to the end there and bring it in. Then cutting off and coming down in, in that triangle there. And here at the bottom of the triangle, I'm going to bring it out here. This will be the top of her little ear coming up. And it comes to, take it down to about there. So already we're starting to build it here. So let's just put in the rest of the ear here on that triangle. We've got it going down there. And here on this shape here, we'll take it down, round. With such beautiful big long ears here. All the way to there. I'm going to bring it out, right out to there. And that is the first ear in. So we've got that shape in there. Let's come down here now from this ear. In this triangle, this side triangle that we've got there, we're just going to bring it down. It's actually down and round to there. And then let's add her little tail on at the bottom. And here we're going to bring it down and into a little shape there. So let's work in this box now. We've got the ear, we've got this. And this box here, what we're actually going to do all the way down is bring this shape in here. So we've got these, her little tummy coming in. There, we're going to take it into there, like that. And we're going to put in a little leg. And the leg, 
Think about that negative shape there, shape within the shape here. Little negative shape, out, and we'll put in the pause. And then we've got this big, lovely, big, very sort of quite grand leg here, which comes all the way up. And then joining it from the ear, join it round. So you've got the leg in there like that. And another one here at the back. This one's gonna come up and round. And this little back leg here is just gonna start there like that. So I'm gonna start rubbing some of these lines out now. So you can see how lightly I drew them in so that we can really see that from this, she's really starting to appear. Can you see that? I'm going to just take that in and out a little bit earlier there. And it's at this point that you can go around and adjust and think to yourself, right, well, I'm actually going to just bring the ear up a little bit there like that. But you're making little adjustments now. The bulk of the drawing is in there. So let's come to this very last bit here. I'm just going to stop bring this in. So we've got this triangle here and within this triangle we're going to just be putting, let's not think about head, let's not think, just think about that shape. Can you imagine that shape there? So here on this side we're going out, coming in, round, out, in. This totally changes your ability to draw when you're thinking about the shape within the shape. Think about those negative shapes. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the triangle now and put this in like that. And then I'm going to take a line out here and that's going to be the side of the ear. And I'm going to just rub those lines out and we really are almost there with her now. So I'd like you to pause and really take your time here. Take your time to turn those basic triangles and squares into the shapes of this dog and keep thinking about the negative shapes. So I'm gonna come in now and pop in the little collar and then we'll go back and finish it off. We've pretty much got everything here. We've got her little feet, we've got the tail, we've got the ears. So the collar, Come down to that shape there, that bit there, and I want you to just bring it down. And we're gonna put in, first of all, that shape, then a little line around, and then we're gonna take the collar and join it up. There, like that. And it's actually like a diamond. The name tag is just a diamond. So we'll pop that in there. And the only thing we've got left now to finish it with is the face details. So. Come into this bit here, and that is going to be your mouth. And what it is, is we've got a really light line there. And then you just take it in. So you can really see when you pause it, just break it down into the different bits. And that's her little mouth coming out. And her nose is up here. So really think about where the nose joins, what the shape is, and about the angle as well. So there's a the little nose in. Think with the eyes, if you take it from the nose, we're going to take put a few marks in there like that. because She's got those marks there and we've got a mark up here. When you come to this top bit, taking the line down. And we're going to do this sort of semicircle up here like that. For the eye. And take it in with the pupil. And the iris. And don't forget her eyelashes. She's got the most amazing eyelashes. So coming in here on this side, thinking about where it is, we've got the top of the ear here. I'm going to come in from the top of the ear and we're going to put in a little semicircle there. So it's quite a bit lower than the nose. It's a bit lower than there. And it's not a circle. It's that shape up to there. And then we'll round like that with the eyelashes again. And all we've got here is we've got the little pupil and then we've got the iris again. And that, apart from her eyebrows, because what we need up here is a little eyebrow there and we want a little eyebrow just there. And she's all finished. <laughs>
So I'm going to use a variety of different yellows here and I'm going to use these, my watercolour pencils. What I'm going to do just to start is very loosely and lightly to colour this bit here. And I'm just going to put a little bit up here on, around this bit. So I'm not putting much. What I'm actually doing here is just putting the paint pigment in rather than anything else. Right, I'm going to make sure that my brush is completely clean now. Touch of water on it. And I'm going to turn this bit here just around the nose into paint with these magic pencils. And there. So every time my brush picks it up, picks up a bit of the pigment, it's just turning it there. And I'm going to come around here like that. So she's got this lovely yellow tummy. And we'll go right up here into her ear, ear and right to the side of her leg there. And also each of the little feet will be the same, all three feet. There. So I'm just going to let that dry for a minute. So I'm going to have go, we've done this nice yellow now and what I'm going to do is take my yellow ochre, which is this kind of um, brownie yellow, and I'm going to go down the centre of the ears, both ears there, but most of the colour is going to come here with this burnt sienna, which is a very reddish brown and you can see I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just putting the pencil on the side so I can get plenty of pigment there. I'm going to do the same around here as well. Just putting the pigment down. I'm not carefully colouring it at all. Just putting the pigment. And then I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to start with the yellow and as it meets the red I can start to bring it back so it's really mingled. Both of those are really in there and I'm going to go right to the edge. So although I've not coloured it carefully, I want to really paint it carefully using my brush. There we go. And you can see how it isn't yellow at all, but the yellow sort of tones down the real intensity of those, of that very dark red of the ears. And you can go darker if you want, just put more pigment on. And um, I'll do the same with this one here. Being careful as I just go around it there. So the last bit here of the main colouring in of um, the dog is I'm going to take the yellow ochre and I'm going to colour in these bits here. Now these are really furry so I'm really going to go in with a bit of the there and I want it just to get plenty of pigment down there on the paper and the same here. So not careful colouring at all with these pencils, it's just getting the pigment on there in these three sort of different yellows, although that probably, that one should have been there. So I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of the sienna there. Then I'll take my brush and make sure it's completely clean and then I'm going to change this. So you can see the subtle difference between the very strong ye bright yellow that we put in very lightly here and this yellow ochre. So it's very subtle but it just makes a difference getting us the effect that we want. And you'll notice that often I'll put my brush in the water and then just dip it quickly onto the back of my hand. It's just so that I know exactly how much water is on the brush. I don't want it to be too wet. I don't want it to dilute the paint too much here because I really want that lovely golden colour to come through. There, and I'm going to do the same up here. And leaving the collar, which we're going to do a nice blue. And the only bit around here that I don't want it to go in is the eyes. So I'm going to be really careful to make sure I leave the whites of the eyes white. It doesn't matter about going over the eyebrows because you can, you can do those with a darker pencil at the end. I'm gonna take a really little brush here just to do that bit of the ears that I forgot. So the next bit is 
I'm going to put in the um, eyes and it's going to be, it might be a bit wet, but I'm going to, I'm going to risk it anyway. You would usually let it dry a bit more, but there's hardly any water on there. So I'm going to put in the eyelashes and I'm going to put in the colour for the eye, but, of, but I'm not actually going to turn it to paint. I'm just going to use the pencils, the pigment as if they were normal colouring pencils there. I always think that when you put the eyes in on these little characters, they suddenly seem to come to life. So there's the eyelashes there, the pupil, and the little iris around. And her nose is really black, so we just go right there. So it's almost like a upturned heart, really. There's something very sweet about it. And if you want, you can turn just gently, you can turn that very quickly. To, the, to to paint the eye, eyelash brows eyebrows go in in the brown pencil and you don't need to turn that to paint but what we will do as we come down is we're going to go around all these edges with this dark brown and that's really going to I'm going to do this. I won't do it all over, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm going over every single edge in the same colour. It really brings the whole painting together. So any pencil mark you've got, go over it with this brown and it'll really bring the painting together. And to finish it off, what we've got is a tiny bit of brown in the mouth there. And then we also need just a little bit of pink. You can either turn these to paint or not. And then the last bit is the blue here around the collar. I am going to turn that to paint though. So if I just use my little brush here, let's turn that there. And on that side. And then we'll finish it by just putting a little bit of gold there in the centre and taking that dark brown again to take it around the edges like that really will bring her out and don't forget the little the little claws on her feet there as well and there the tail I'm going very fast now and here at the edges and that is our lovely little doggy <laughs> really enjoyed that. Hope that you have a go at both of them because we they're both so, so cute. We're going to be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday is Draw With The Grandparents Day and Elizabeth got a really, really gorgeous Eiffel Tower. So make sure you tell grannies, granddads, aunties, uncles, get them ready so they're all ready at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning to draw your Eiffel Tower with Elizabeth. See you then. Mm -hmm.